Okay, she will not start. It's not getting any gas for some reason. This is pure gas. Don't ever squirt anything into a carburetor but pure gas. No starting fluid, no nothing. Okay, we got all the gasket scraped off the bottom. We had to do it with the compound wheel. So don't ever put gasket sealer or glue or nothing on any part that has to do with the carburetor. I don't know whether you did it or who did it, but anyway, bad business. The gaskets nowadays have a sealer in them. So we don't need to add no sealer to it. Here we go. Let's see if it'll run with the gas in it. Well, it looks like it's going like to run as long as the gas is in there that we squirted it. Don't sound too healthy. And way lean, way too fast. But I would say if you could get, ever get the boat started, it would take you from point A to point B. But the mixture is not correct, the speed is not correct. But it would get you there. If you could ever get it started, you'd have to carry a can of gas with you to dump in there. Sometimes they, people use an oil can, you know, like that. But you shouldn't have to. The carburetor should pump right here. It does not pump. It does not pump at all. Well, something's messed up inside there. One side's getting too much gas, and one side's getting not enough. Whatever it is, it's a mess. That's crazy. I can't wait to get inside there and see what it is. Something is really dumping it in there when you accelerate. But when you try to idle, it's not hardly getting any. That's going nuts. I'm going to try with a dyno on. I don't know what happened. It's probably stalled out. This one has K5 in the serial number here. This one also had the fuel line on it. So if they have to go in a certain place on your boat, this is K5. It had the fuel line. Whatever side that goes on, I don't know. It's goofy. It's goofy. Okay. I have the wrong meter in the springs above everything else.